This is Coyote News. It was the first D-Day since the May death of USD's First Lady, Colette Abbott. Coyote News' Chloe Edgar talked to Abbott's close friend, Renee Alves, about the memories the First Lady left behind. Students found Colette Abbott very approachable. She just loved being with young people. And it's because she was young in spirit herself. So uh, I think that, you know, she just loved the whole university atmosphere. They, you know, both got into the, the sports and she just was an avid uh, Coyote fan. Well, she loved everything about the university. She was always dressed up in red and off we go. And she always wore wonderful bright red lipstick. She just really got into it. And she would stand up, you know, and pump her hands. And Renee Alves said that Colette Abbott was the most beautiful, kind, loving first lady for the university. She loved the students and being involved here on campus. She just, she just was a kind, wonderful person. I hope that her legacy will live on for many, many years to come because she was just such a wonderful person and I just always loved being with her because she was such an upbeat person. She was never negative, just upbeat. Alf says Jim and Colette Abbott were a great team. For Coyote News, I'm Chloe Edgar. Abbott was 59 years old and Alf says she will be greatly missed.